having trouble keeping that disc down, every time I throw it, it just goes up and goes over to the left. Can't keep it to go straight. Are you trying to do things to compensate for that? In this disc golf clinic, we're going to throw backhand putters and work on simply throwing straight. We hope you will join us. My name is Brian Morris, and this is Beaver Branch Adventures, step 1N1.5, backhand putter throwing, working on your form and developing a straight shot. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate your support. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Greetings. Welcome to the Beaver Branch Adventures Step 1 Clinic. My name is Brian Morris, PDGA 16791, and I am a member of Team Trilogy. Today, I just want to take you through the baby steps. I want to keep it simple. Um, a lot of issues that people have starting off um, is throwing either nose up or getting it too over, trying to manipulate the angles of the disc before actually being able to throw the disc. You will hear top pros talk about if they want to work on their form, what they do is they disc down to putters okay and they work on their form from putting so what we're going to do today is work on establishing a uh, very simple form with a slight hyzer release and trying to get a putter to go straight always remember to get warmed up before you do any physical activity. I recommend doing dynamic stretching, which essentially is not holding the stretch, but warming up all of the muscles. All right, so in order to get this started, what you're gonna want is an under stable putter. Um, I would recommend something like a deputy. You could use an AVR putting approach. Um, you could use a pure. A Keystone, a Swan 1 or Swan 2, there's a whole list. Essentially, you want something that's going to have the negative 1. The deputy actually has a negative uh, 1.5. Something that would be seen is, uh, or that's understable coming out of the hands. So that's step 1. Obviously, you might not have access to several putters. Um, one of my emphasis here is always going to be to focus on developing muscle memory. Um, I coached um, football for almost 20 years, and a big emphasis is developing muscle memory um, when you practice so that you don't have to think about what you're doing when you actually have to execute. So let's take this out. Um, we're going to take it out to the tee pad and just do step one here. Just um, stepping into it and trying to develop a straight shot with a putter. All right, so one of the things to mention here is that on a backhand throw, as the disc spins clockwise, the tendency is for it to move over to the left. So out of your hands, the way it's spinning, is going to dictate which way the disc is actually going to throw a lot of problems that beginners have is throwing nose up and the disc wants to go hard everybody remembers their first throws um, being wild when they started um, but this is also a great way to really reset your form um, whenever my form is off i like to go all the way down to understable putters just like step one here All right, so first thing we want to do from a standstill is we want to be able to just have your foot planted and really work on the reach back 
this leg and your disc and your arm are always kind of going to be connected when you develop your runoff. So what we want to do here is work on releasing with a hyzer release and as we begin throwing we'll see that it'll start off doing a hyzer and then as we figure out how much arm speed we need we can figure out how to get that disc straight the crucial element here is what does it take to get the disc to go straight now i'm dealing with a slight headwind here so that actually increases your arm speed if we have wind coming at us it actually makes it so you actually throw harder because the wind is actually going against you so let's check out a couple throws here just from a a standstill all right so here we go we are going to throw from a standstill we're going to plant that right foot and we want to do a weight transfer which means we kind of lean back into that left foot and bring back our arm and then come forward with it following through all that weight goes on to the right foot and again making sure you're properly warmed up to do any athletic activity so you don't risk injury all right so what we're doing here is we're throwing into a headwind which is a little tricky but we're trying to get that hyzer release and get the putter to go straight. I feel like as a beginner, one of the hardest things to do is learn how to make the disc go straight. So we wanna keep this real simple and from a standstill, just do a weight transfer, a simple throw and get this disc to go straight ahead. Here's another angle. Now we're shooting with a crosswind, a left to right, which isn't gonna affect it too much, but it did kind of make that one turn over a little bit. But again, muscle memory reps, uh, having yourself four or five putters to be able to just step into this and then make adjustments and really get to know your disc. Each disc, may have a slightly different angle got stuck in the tree there to release with so the discs that i'm throwing i can tell you that the pure and the keystone have a pretty similar release point where the deputy is even more understable and needs more hyzer here we're just going to speed things up this is a right to left wind I'm throwing in. I'm trying to keep the edge up um, on the hyzer release and trying to get that shot straight at that basket. All right, so step one, stand still, learning how to, really learning how to um, Feel your disc and get to know what angle it needs to be on. I can tell you that that deputy needed a little bit more hyzer than the Keystone and the Pure in order to go straight. Now here we're looking at probably a 15 mile per hour headwind. And on this, I'm gonna have to put a lot more hyzer on it to get it to go straight at this basket. We're also gonna add step 1.5, which is gonna be a three step walk up nice and slow so let's check it out all right so the first thing we want to do is figure out exactly where our throwing point is and i always like to try to do exactly the same walk back and walk up every single time and that's all a part of developing that muscle memory that i'm talking about that you do something so with so many repetitions that it just becomes uh, completely normal and you don't have to think about it anymore. Obviously, when developing that, we are going to need to think about it. And one of the things I do with my form is as I'm stepping up here in my head, I'll go one, two, three. It's really a three-step run-up, um, stepping with each of those feet 
So again, one, two, three. And I'll sit there and I'll keep doing that over and over again. And, and then I do it so I don't have to do the one, two, three. If I'm just working on my form. Here you see I got that one over a little bit. This is into the headwind at about 15 miles per hour. Again, this is step 1.5. Do not proceed to 1.5 until you've done a few reps of step one. All right, here we're looking at it straight on. I always measure out my shot three steps back and then one, two, three, follow through. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, follow through and I'll literally work on my form one two three follow through and you really want to work on that until you no longer need to do it one of the best things is to keep your your walk up nice and slow as we see a slow motion version of this so you got the cross step here, plant foot, following through. And again, always measuring out my shot. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. And I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. Again, this is step 1.5. So do not move on until you have that straight shot. Here I'm just doing some muscle memory reps from one of the holes on the course. And I do have a tailwind here, which is gonna cause the disc to become more stable on the release. As you can see, many of these discs are hysering out. But what I really like to do is get out and get that muscle memory and get this going over and over again. All right, so on that particular shot, had a tailwind at like 15 miles per hour. So when you're throwing the disc with a tailwind, the disc stability actually goes up. Therefore, it's gonna take more arm speed to actually straighten that disc. So if you got a headwind, it takes less arm speed to straighten it. If you got a tailwind, it's the exact opposite. Hope these tips will help. All right, guys, that's going to do it for session one and 1.5. Um, hopefully you guys will go out to the field and really get to know your discs. Um, I've heard, you know, lots of pros talk about doing field work. Um, very important to progressing. And with this step one, you really just want to get to know um, a set of putters and just know what it takes to make it go straight. Making it go straight is going to help you in terms of being able to do the next thing, which is going to be able to turn the disc into an Anheuser or get a longer hyzer shot, stretching those shots out. Anyway, that's enough for me. I'm Brian Morse, Beaver Branch Adventures. Um, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate everything. And we will see you on step two.